We'll now turn to Dr. Raymond Gilpin. Uh, thank you very much, and um, it's a pleasure to be here and to contribute to what I think is a very um, interesting and rich discussion on um, U.S. Africa looking forward. What I want to do is take a look at some of the um, opportunities and challenges that, that I see in the years ahead and talk a little bit about um, what that means for U.S.-Africa relationships and uh, what um, you know, we should be thinking about and also what thinkers on the continent should be pondering. Um, as I thought about this, I was reminded of a, a portion from a speech given by the um, Red Cross president last October when he was discussing the state of humanitarianism across the world. And he said, um, we have entered a new era, and it is not a peaceful one. In many senses, when you think about um, Africa in the next um, 10 years, the next 20 years, I think Africa is entering a new era, and it's not necessarily peaceful. But um, there are a lot of things we can do now to forestall a lot of the instability and unrest that might, um, might emerge. I want to talk a little bit about uh, the development um, security nexus. My, com my comments will skirt around that. Um, but uh, I want to start by considering, you know, why, why do I think um, Africa is entering a new era? I think Africa, in many senses, is um, post-Cold War. Post-Cold War in the sense that both from an economic and security perspective, um, a lot of the interactions are more multipolar than they were two or three decades ago. As um, the previous speaker um, rightly pointed out, things are becoming a lot more complex and uh, necessarily complicated as well. Africa is also post 9-11. We think about um, Africa and we think, oh, um, terrorism, corruption, but it's a lot more nuanced than that. If you look even just in the um, northeastern Nigeria region, you can't understand what's going on in northeastern Nigeria without understanding the entire Lake Chad Basin issue and the entire east-west dynamics in the Sahel. And so it's post 9-11 in the sense that it's not just a simple with us and ag or against us. It is a much more is a much richer narrative that looks at the franchising and decentralization of violence, that highlights the um, fact that violence is now embedded in a lot of communities, and the violent actors are rapidly mobilized and relatively, relatively easy, easily resourced. 